But the rain came down and the flood waters they came up. Water cresting creek beds pouring over roads and into businesses this week in Elkhorn. As Chase Moffat explains, it cost thousands of dollars in lost inventory. But land experts believe something like this could be prevented in the future. A lake forms where a small creek usually runs through the north of Tahazuka Park in Elkhorn. A buildup of debris collected on gates and fence posts. By week's end, the water backed down within the banks of the creek, but the damage left behind is still visible. The fact that we got as much as we did in a short period of time, it, it flooded. We were unable to actually get into the nursery that morning. Jack McCarthy with Heritage Nursery explains it was a one-two punch with the storm. First, the hail. You can see here where the hail has hit that, it's kind of split the bark. Then the high water. The five years that I've been out here, I've never seen the water level this high before. This is one of three industrial trash containers they filled with plants and trees destroyed by the storm. Complete sections of the sales yard empty. You have no idea what came downstream from up above us. And the fact that some of these plants are susceptible to molds and mildews. And so all that water had to come from uphill here near 212th and Fort. In fact, this is the area of this field behind me is a proposed dam site to be built by the Papio NRD. If it were in place, would we see flooding like that in that area? Yeah, if dam site 12 was there, you probably would have seen, you might have seen some flooding, but you, it wouldn't have been as significant. And, and this rain was, was, in the scale of things, very, very small. However, John Winkler with the Papio NRD explains voters said no to a ballot initiative Tuesday that would make more money available quicker to build dam sites across the metro, including in Elkhorn. That's 2035. Uh, before we could start looking at that project and obviously that was one of our priority projects and we could have probably completed that in the next 10 years. In the meantime at Heritage Nursery they continue cleanup and they remain open for business. You know there's a lot of stagnant water so you don't know if you're bringing in insects or disease. And they hope to dry out with more sunny days ahead this spring. In Elkhorn, Chase Moffat, WWT 6 News. The Papio NRD says Tuesday's ballot decision will not change their plans to move forward with proposed dam site construction. Now coming up tonight at 6, how other nurseries are stepping up to help Heritage during the peak planting season.